there is one more concept in getting the parameter values from the route. Let's learn about that also. Here we are using again the same book store example and this time I will be using the user module. Here in the user routing module you can notice that this time we are passing the data over here at this parent level and we are having these two children. Now I want to get the user id in both of them. How can I do that? Let's say I'm having this delete book component and in this delete book component I want to write my entire code. I can copy it from this book details. Just copy this activated route first, paste it in the constructor, then copy this code and paste it here inside this ng on init method. And let's remove this unwanted code, save the changes and let's import this activated route like this. Okay. And here let's create one more property for the user ID. So here I'm writing user ID and it is a string. There we go. Now I want to get its ID from this params. So I can simply use this dot user ID is equals to param dot user ID. Just save the changes and let's print its value here on this HTML template. Let's go back to the browser and this time we have to use another route and the route is first it is user then one id let's say it is one and then the delete book let's use this route hit the enter button and this time you can see we are not having anything in the user id although we have written the entire code properly but this time you can see we are not having any value in the user id let's print the values of this param in the console and let's see what all we have inside this one just save the changes again go back to this browser and here you can see we are having an empty object we do not have anything inside this param the same code was working in the another component why it is not working over here let's understand that concept let's go to the routing file of this public module over here you can see we are passing both the parameters in this same route but here the difference is that in the user route we are passing this user id at the parent level so there is a difference in between both these routes and to work with this type of route we have to use the parent so here we are and this time here in this route we have to use dot parent just save the changes and here we are getting an error that the possibility its value is null so let's use a question mark at this place and just save the changes without doing anything else let's go back to the browser this time you can see we are having this user id over here and we are having the same user id on the html template also it means if you have defined your routes where the parameters are available at the root level then after this route you have to use the parent and then there is the same concept let's understand the same situation with the child route as well so here again in this public route you can see that we are using these author id and the id so let's say i want to get its data over here in this public component this one how can i do that and again here i have to use that activated route so i'm writing private route activated route and again in this ng on init method So here we are on the browser and this time if I click on this details from app and over here you can see that this message is coming from the book details component but I am also using a console.log statement in this public.component.ts and its value is blank. So it means if I want to access the child parameters in the parent component then using this concept this will not work. To get the data from the child route in the parent component we have to use one more object over here and it is first child just hit the save button and again this is saying that it could be possibly null so let's put a question mark over here just save the changes and let's see what we have on the browser this time on the browser you can see in the same console we are having both the values so this is the id and this is the author id using this approach you can also get the value from your child route 